everybody this morning. I just am so excited to get to talk to you guys again today. Welcome to day 17 in the Chaos to Control Mommy Challenge. This week we were talking about all the home things and yesterday we took an inventory of things that are stressing us about our homes. We are going from chaos to control in our homes. So if you, have, if you didn't watch yesterday's video, please go and watch it on replay. If you're watching this video on replay, just comment below and let me know if you're watching on replay. And today, we're going to, like I promised yesterday, walk step by step in creating a plan to attack these goals, to crush these goals, to up-level our lives, to upgrade our homes, to become the managers of our homes that we are already on the inside and just to get out of our own way and have success in this area. So today we're going to talk about reverse engineering our goals. Okay. So what do I mean by that? What I mean is we are going to, whether you're working on a project or a habit, you're going to begin with the end in mind. Okay. That is how you crush your goals. You begin with the end in mind. Now, like I said yesterday, failing to plan is planning to fail. So we're going to put some planning into this. Okay, so first thing I want to talk about, okay, so hopefully you have your list of things. We're going to pick one thing, the list of things in your home that you want to work on, the things that are stressing you. So you're going to pick one thing, whether it be a project or a habit that you want to complete, that you want to implement. So first thing I'm going to talk about is projects, okay? So if your project is working on a specific room in your house or decluttering your entire house or planting a garden or you know projects things that have a beginning and an end that you know not daily habits so I'll talk about those in just a minute so projects so let's talk about you know same principle we begin with the end in mind and both of these whether it's a project or a habit you're going to begin with the end in mind and you're going to picture your end goal how do you want this to look how will you know when you've completed this project how will you know when you have successfully completed it okay and then, once you've got your picture of what this is going to look like in the end, you, we're going to reverse engineer. We're going to plan backwards, okay? Because if it's a project, this is not something you're going to complete in one day. And maybe it is, but, you know, usually projects take time. It, it, has, it has steps. So we're going to break after we begin with the end in mind, picture our end goal, plan backwards. We're going to break our goal down into daily chunks. How much time can you devote to this project each day? And then how many days of doing this is it going to take you to complete the project? Okay, and what are the steps? You know, the steps may be different every day. You, one day you might have to do one thing. Another day you might have to do another two or three things. Or, you know, whatever that looks like for you. And then... After then the next the last thing is you're just gonna start doing it. You're going to keep you're gonna keep track of your progress. And the last thing is you're gonna celebrate every win. Because that really does build momentum. I'm serious, it's powerful. So that is how we're going to do our projects. Remember, the most important thing is to begin with the end in mind and plan backwards and break it down into daily chunks. Small steps that you can do every day to get you towards your goal because it's important to do that it's important to do that because a lot of times we don't complete projects because we get overwhelmed and we get overwhelmed because we didn't plan it plan it properly we we put too much into one day we try to do too much too fast and we burn out on it this is going to eliminate that for you okay so let's talk about habits this is going to be a lot more simple okay so whatever habit you want to build whether it is implementing a routine into your life like a mealtime routine or doing meal planning or getting your kids into doing um, helping you with a chore or doing a better job folding your laundry every single day folding one basket of laundry every day that there's a habit that you could do it could be anything whatever your habit is that you want to build into if your habit is you know doing exercise every day whatever is into is in your home that you want to work on so this is a little bit more simple and it's something that is ongoing. It's something that, you know, we're always going to be wanting to implement new habits. So this is a really good skill to have. First thing you're going to do is you're going to do your mindset work. Yeah, I'm going back to that. I'm going back to the mindset. It always goes back to the mindset. Because a lot of times when we're trying something new in the beginning, we're holding ourselves back. We're being held back by our own mentality, by our own mindset, by our own beliefs that we have that, 
we have the power to change. And until you change them, you will not have success in building this habit. So let's work on that. So let's take, for example, um, you know, maybe your goal is to, I'm drawing a blank here. So maybe your goal is to do the laundry every day. You know, let's go back to that one, to fold one basket of laundry every single day. Who in here, who, who's watching, if you're watching this video, raise your hand, let me know in the comments. If you're one of those people who can wash and dry clothes, but then it's the clean clothes sit in the basket and don't get folded for days, and then you end up having to fold a lot of laundry. Okay. Yeah, I yeah, I get it. So maybe, but then you have this sense of dread. You don't know if you can really follow through with this habit. So we're going to create an affirmation, and we're going to use an oil. The oil that I'm using is highest potential. This is my absolute favorite oil smells so amazing so what you're going to do in this when you're creating your affirmation is you're going to create like we've do, i've done a whole video on affirmations it was in the first week of this challenge so you're going to inhale your oil and you're going to create an affirmation that is an i am statement in present tense that reflects your end goal so or it can be it needs to start with i it needs to be in present tense so I fold laundry, I fold one basket of laundry every, I successfully, let's start over, I successfully fold one basket of laundry every day. I consistently fold one basket of laundry every day and put it away. So that's your affirmation. You are literally reprogramming your mind and all that doubt and negative emotions that are there, you are, you're, you're changing your mentality, you're changing your mindset. So let me just share a story real quick about how this, how using affirmations and um, be, has helped me to become consistent in a big goal that I've been able to accomplish. So I'm not a morning person, okay? I've never have been. But I really knew I needed a morning routine. I really knew I needed to work on my mornings, okay? And I have. And that, that has truly been meaningful in my life. It has really saved my life in a lot of ways. Because I have five small children that I have to get ready and take to school every morning. And, you know, there's just a lot to do. And I get it done in less than one hour. So, and I, and I keep my routine and I keep things simple. That's another guideline. Keep things, when you're making it, when you're trying to build a new habit, make sure your habit that you're building in the beginning, especially, is very simple and very sustainable so that you can be consistent in doing it. Don't set yourself up for failure in the beginning. That's really important. So, my, I did an affirmation. I did what I just told you. I had my affirmation. My affirmation was I wake up on time daily and I consistently follow my morning routine. And that was when I was getting ready to start doing it, getting ready to set my alarm early and start doing the steps in my routine every morning. And let me tell you, that made the biggest difference. I was able to get so consistent in my morning routines and just not hitting snooze. And it just flows like it, it flows so effortlessly in the morning, even though I'm not a natural morning person. So. I hope this has been beneficial, and I just want to remind everyone of what I announced yesterday. So, going back to the mindset work, if you feel like you have, you're really curious about the mindset work, or you are, you've tried the mindset work, you really want to embrace mindset work, but you are not sure exactly exactly where to start, or you feel like you need some accountability with this, you really want to dive deeper with a coach. And in a supportive community and you feel like that will help you because I'm telling you it will you will put rocket boosters on your success in every area of your life if you do that and I have created a program specifically with all of that in mind and the program is called mindset mastery for moms this program which includes weekly group coaching and 20 plus videos and lots of other things too I'm not going to go into everything but this program is for moms mom entrepreneurs anyone who wants to level up their life and just you know change your life trajectory so this program is normally a thousand dollars but this week this week and i'm running a flash sale i'm not sure how long the sales are and i haven't decided yet it is 297 literally 700 dollars off this is my flash sale so get into this program while you can at the reduced price so Click the link in the comments to the page for Mindset Mastery for Moms and use the code FLASH, all caps, F-L-A-S-H. I'll put that in the comments and I will see you guys tomorrow. I want you to get into this, okay? Bye.